Hello, this is Pete, or Kenshin1913, along with... Ed. And this is another Cooking with Kenshin1913. And what are we making today? Uh, bean, rice and beans. Yeah, our version. Italian style. The ingredients. You got a pound of a ground beef, rice, two cans of those small red beans. Small red beans, right. An onion, don't mind. Don't me medium onion, or you can use if if you like black beans, you can use black beans. Yeah, don't mind the baby singing in the background. And a uh, tomato sauce. Yeah. So uh, first thing we're gonna do is slice. Uh, up. I'm gonna chop the onions, make them smaller. I, I just cut the onion in half. Then I, what I gonna do? I gonna have them like this. Again, don't mind Stella in the background. And Grandpa is cutting up an onion. This should be called cooking with Stella this time. So, Dad, you brought this recipe over from Italy? Yeah, we, we, we used to make them in Italy. Mm. Yeah, because this isn't... I mean, it's rice and beans where it technically has rice and beans in it, but well, we, we yeah. also add some meat and sauce. In the, in the Mexican style, they don't use meat, they don't use sauce. Right. So my mom, uh, my, yeah, my mom, my dad's just gonna finish chopping this stuff up and uh, yeah, then we'll get going on the next step. Uh, next step, we use about a uh, couple of te tablespoon of oil, olive oil. Mm -hmm. Coat the pan. And uh, then we put the meat in it and we start to brown the meat. Yep. You wanna turn on the, uh, the heat there? Yeah. So are we adding any seasonings here with the meat or no? Mm, yeah, eventually we're gonna ha put the onions. No, I mean like spices, salt. Uh, you, we can put them with the meat or we can put them while we're cooking during the cooking time. All right, so we have our chopped meat here, and my dad's just gonna put it in. Put it in. And uh, pretty much. Uh, we can, you can add whatever spices you'd like, as you can mm. see, salt, pepper, we kind of keep it kind of plain, I guess, I mean, you, you can really add whatever you want. And so my dad just kind of put it in there, and we're going to let it brown, and I guess we will put some stuff in, right, Pop? Yeah. Uh, I forgot to say, that we could put the... Well, I'm gonna use a little. Uh, well, you can use a cooking wine, but if you got a white dried wine, dry wine, you can use that. Mm -hmm. You know, for flavor, not a lot, but maybe half cup. Mm -hmm. All right. So my my dad and my um, my dad, my mom, and my sister's sister went down to Charleston, South Carolina, and they bought this nice uh, chipotle uh, salt. Well, actually, it's Chipotle seasoning or whatever, and uh, we're gonna throw a little bit in there. And uh, what it pretty much is is it's Chipotle and uh, pink Himalaya salt. And uh, pink Himalayan salt is actually supposed to be very good for you. So they bought that for me while they were down there, and, uh, and it's pretty good. It adds a little bit of spice. It pretty much substitutes as your salt if you want. So it's all good. So my dad's just gonna mash this up, and then when we come back, we'll throw in our seasoning. Okay, now. Right. So my dad now is, actually let's show, well, put I guess put it in and then we'll show. All right, so this is the spice that they got from Charleston, South Carolina, pink chipotle. So like I said, it's just pink, uh, it's just chipotle uh, crystal, or whatever, dried chipotle, uh, and um, a little salt, pink Himalayan salt. So you're gonna add that, and like I said, you substitute that for pepper. I mean, uh, un salt. So now at this point, uh, the meat is pretty much uh, brown. Pretty much browned. Well, you don't want them to have them browned all the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you put the onion and get yeah. the flavor. And then is this where you would add the wine, or uh, when the the onions they almost done. Um, yeah. A little, a little so yeah, we're just gonna continue to cook this, and we'll be uh, 
show you what it looks like. All right, we're back. As you can see, the onions are, are starting to get starting cooked. To good get cooked. Uh, I, right now, I'm gonna add a, a little uh, bit of white wine. Half a cup of wine. And so we were discussing while we were cooking the onions, but you could use um, oh, different meat. You don't have to use beef. Use yeah. it if you like it. Chicken, chicken, chicken or turkey, or uh, if, you, if you want, if you like a. Uh, ground pork, you can put ground pork in it. And then, uh, what was the other thing? If you don't want to use white rice for some reason, you could use brown rice as well. It works. The, o the only thing, the brown rice this lo take, takes, takes longer, longer to, to cook. cook. Right, right, right. So now we're just going to continue to cook it and let the uh, wine get absorbed. Uh, I'm going to put a little ground pepper in it, black pepper. I'm going to put some black pepper in it. Freshly ground black pepper. Now that, now that I think about it, this actually kind of reminds me of like a meat stuffing that we do. Where it starts off with meat and onions and all that good stuff. Okay. Alright. Let it cook the onions a little longer. Mm -hmm. And uh, get all the flavor with the wine. And then we add the water. Bring them to boil up to the rice. What about the beans? Those yeah, the last. beans. Oh. Okay, now you can see the onions, they cook the whole translucent. Time to add the beans. Put the beans with the juice. Yeah. Because the juice thickens the, the thing. Yep, so we're using two cans of red. You can small use. Small beans. Yeah, red, you. Red, the small beans. And then, so now you're going to add the, the. Let this cook a little, or are you going to add the water now? No, I. Gonna let them cook a little bit with the meat. N not really. I'm gonna add the water now because of the the, <coughs> the beans, the, the canned beans. They are they already they already cooked. Yeah. If you uh, if you're using like other ones, you can you gotta pre-soak them or whatever. Uh, All right. So what my dad's gonna do? I probably I'm gonna take a three or four cans of uh, water. All right. Uh, as you can see, my dad put water. I just wanted to show you. The amount of water you put uh, about three cans no, of water four, 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 four cans four, of water no four five 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 cans of water yes that's a, a four and a half a four and a half quart of pan the pan we're cooking in it yeah four, four and a half, half quart so we'll when the uh water comes to a boil is when we're going to throw add the, the rice and the tomato sauce yeah this is when we're going to throw in the rice and the tomato sauce so you just got to let it boil up and now we're going to add see, the rice it's come that's to a, a one, one cup right one cup and of rice well, are we going to put a one and a half yeah and so uh what you want to do is um one thing we didn't mention is you should probably stir this a little bit when you do it yeah, otherwise it sticks on the bottom. Yeah, you don't want the meat and the beans and, uh, and the onions to stick. And the tomato sauce. Yeah. And now we're going to add the tomato sauce. That's what's going to get it to be its nice red consistency. So what you're going to want to do here is let this cook for, I don't know. Until the rice cooks. Yeah, yeah, until the rice you got to keep on checking it. You do have to check it continually. The, and the, the rice that you put in it, it it's going to absorb all, all the water. The water so. You just gotta keep an eye on it, and we'll come back at various stages and show you what it's looking like. As you see, the rice, it's half cooked. Yeah. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna turn the heat off and put a cover on it. Yeah. Let, let the rice finish to cook with the heat that's in the, in the, in the pan and the water, and the rice will absorb all the water. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, yeah, we let it cook for about, about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. No, less than that, but 10 minutes. Yeah. All right. And then you let it, you Just cover it. cover on it, and, and we'll you be back it when it's all set sets. and done. As you see, the water, <coughs> the rice is cooked, and the water, it's almost 100% absorbed. Use a spoon, let's see it. Yeah, you can see it. Yeah, look at that. All right, so let's, let's put some on a plate and eat it. This is a nice... This is a nice, what we call cooked dish because uh, it's, it's nice, a hot dish. It's a hot dish. And it's good on a cold winter's night. Mm. If you like it, you can put a little cheese on it. 
like a, either a pecorino romano or a parmesan. Right. And uh, this is the finished product. You know, ready to be tested. Mm. So yeah, this is some good stuff. It's very good. Apparently I didn't get a spoon, but that's all right. Let's try it. It's good. It's it's very good. And like I said before, it's good on a uh, cold winter's night. It's uh, it's really good. You, I like the beans and the meat with it, even. And uh, yeah, it's just good. So give it a try. You're your leisure. So this has been Pete, or Kenshin 1913, along with Dad, and this has been another Cooking with Kenshin 1913.